Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the Albany Frankenstange, which was released at Halloween and originally was released on the Halloween surprise last year, I believe, which would have been 2016. So this is a year old car. I know I'm only just do, now doing a video on it, but last year when it was released, it was a limited time offer. And at the time, I didn't really have the GTA money to purchase it. So I never got around to buying it. But now it's back. I can purchase this, this motherfucker. And hopefully, Rockstar aren't going to take it away this year. I think it's here to stay. But as you can see, we've got four different types of liveries that we can choose from. We'll look at these a little bit closer inside LS Customs. But to give you a quick idea of what they look like... Uh, yeah, they're pretty pretty simple, but effective also. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get this purchase now for $550,000, and I'm going to meet you back in the LSC. So you go, my dudes, as you pull into LS Customs, you'll see the Albany Frankenstein is in the Sports Classic category. And straight away, as always, we're going to go into the armor and purchase 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes for the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade, skip past the explosives, and then we move on to the hood. As you can see, we've got an exposed engine at the moment. Um, uh, I don't think we're going to take that away, but we're not. It's a hood, but it changes the engine block. Fucking figure that out. Rockstar logic. What the hell? I thought it was going to give me some sort of cover, but no, it doesn't. It just changes the engine block, um, which is, you know, random as fuck. Um, but I think the stock one looks the best, okay? But I am going to change it purely because of the drive belt at the front. The way it spins, the attention to detail Rockstar's applied there, uh, I really like it, you know. I mean, you can see the drive belt on that side, you know, as you look in, but when you apply one of these big blocks, you can actually see it move upwards. So it gives a little bit more detail to the engine, and I think that's really cool. So uh, we are gonna purchase a custom engine block. Which one are we gonna go with? I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with the, the single intake bug catcher because uh, it looks a little bit meaner, I suppose, because this one looks a bit muscly. <laughs> you see a lot of them on muscle cars, and I think this one looks a bit more aggressive. So, yeah, we're going to go with a single. Uh, next, we've got the interior, just the ornament, so you get a choice of a bobblehead. This is where they came about first off originally, I think, before Benny's was introduced. But anyway, this is... The, all the bobbleheads, all the sort of bobbleheads you can get in Benny's, so that you know, there's nothing spectacular. I'm not a massive fan of, I mean, all these different types of things. It's a nice addition, but I don't really get it. Uh, if you like them, fair enough, but for me, I mean, why the fuck would you want that on your dashboard? I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we've got the Grim Reaper on now. I think that's pretty cool. You know, let's fuck it, let's have him. We have the Grim Reaper, we got the Zombie Bride, we got. Jason with a chainsaw, you know, different pieces of zombie. Yeah. You know, these Halloween ones are pretty smart, I, I think. You know, they're all right, but nothing spectacular, are they? Uh, a bit of a waste of money, to be honest. I mean, if you want to spend six grand nearly on a little ornament to go inside your car, then so be it. But I have grabbed the Grim Reaper just for um, customization sakes. Then we're going to move on to the lights. We've got the headlights. I'm going to purchase the Xeon headlights. For a neon kit, I am going to go neon for this bad boy. I'm going to go front, back, and sides. And I'm going to get the black light. I'm not sure what color I'm going to go for the exterior of the car, but the black light usually goes with most things. I might even keep it purple because purple actually looks quite good. You know, it suits the style of the car. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go black light for the neon glow. And then we're going to move on to the liveries. I'll give you a quick peep of what the liveries look like inside of um, Southern San Andreas. But... Now we can spin around and we can have a l little bit of a better look at them. The same as the Sanctus. The, the liveries don't seem too polished. They seem a bit, you know, I don't know, fucking... The resolution on them doesn't seem that great. You see the spiderweb on the door there. You, you know, you can see the, the drag jagged lines in it, um, which is disappointing. Uh, that one looks better, I suppose, in, um, you know, definition-wise. That's okay. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of liveries, really. That looks probably the best because I'm probably going to keep the exterior of the car purple. So the dark purple with the lighter purple actually looks quite good. Um, that one looks alright. That's either going to be the spider trap or the midnight poison. And I think I'm going to go with that one. Why the hell not? That actually looks really cool. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. Uh, for the respray, I'm going to go primer colour. I'm going to go metallic on this bad boy. And I'm going to go all the way to 
purples. What purple am I going to go with? The shaft of purple looks quite good. I'm, I think it's going to have to be midnight purple. It's going to have to be the midnight purple. There we go. We're going to go metallic midnight purple. And for the secondary color, we're also going to go metallic and go and grab the midnight purple. Next, we've got the suspension. I mean, it doesn't really need to be lowered. It does look pretty cool lowered. I mean, that's going to be personal preference because I can't see many people using this in a race because, you know, look at it. I mean, that's in the sports classic car, um, class and we've got an abundance of sports classic cars now in that category, which are going to be a lot quicker than this. So, um, you know, suspension is going to be purely cosmetic for this vehicle. And, um, you know, I think it looks pretty cool lowered. It looks a little bit, I think it looks, it looks more of a hot roddy style when you want to lower it a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to go with a competition suspension, man. I think that looks pretty cool. Next, we're going to go to the transmission. I've got the race transmission. I'm going to grab the turbo tuning. And for the wheels, the wheels look pretty good as stock. I'm hoping when I change this, the rear wheel isn't going to go really small because that fat tire on the back, man, looks fucking sweet. So we're going to go with the muscle. I'm going to go chrome. We change it. Yes. Thank fuck for that, that it stays large. Because uh, you know what it's like when you change the wheels on some vehicles, the <laughs> the rear wheel will change uh, to the same size as the as the front wheel. But yeah, I'm happy about that. And maybe a deep dish. They look. Quite, oh, I actually really like them, man. They look quite smart. But maybe, 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 maybe if we go low rider, go chrome. They look hot as shit, man. They look sweet. Definitely the chrome rims on the um, the, the chrome low rider rims are the ways forward because they look amazing. They look a lot better than the muscle wheels, that's for sure. I think it's going to have to be them ones. Or them ones. Ah, oh, too much decisions. Big worm. Good, good chrome big worms. They look sweet. So, yeah, that's that. Next, we're going to move on to the tyres. We've got a tyre design. This is going to give us a white wall, which actually looks really good. So, yeah, we're going to go with a white wall. For the enhancements, we're going to get the bulletproof tyres. And tyre smoke can go suck a dick. So, we're not going to grab any of that. Then, we're going to go to the windows. Usually, I get the low smoke window tint to finish off this build. But I'm going to have a quick look at the limo. Uh, and because it is only two windows, I don't think it suits it that well. Because you can see right into the back. So yeah, we're going to stick with the low smoke. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty damn sure that it's going to be dark outside because my headlights are on. And because every time I make a build, it seems to be night time. <laughs> That's not done on purpose, by the way. That is just the way it happens. Um, so we'll have a quick look at it whilst it's inside of the garage. Whilst we've got you know true light on it. And I think it actually looks amazing. It's very hot roddy, very Adams family, very Halloween like, and uh, the liveries, everything about it. I'm really happy about it. It actually looks really, really good. You know, like I said, you're not going to use it for races, but for us, you know, for a centerpiece at a, at a car show or something, this is definitely going to grab attention of, um, you know, uniqueness that is but anyway we're going to go out onto the streets and as i predicted it is very dark outside so now we can't see anything but we can see the beauty of that underglow which i forgot i applied so yeah i think that underglow actually looks really good so straight off the bat you can see that the torque in this thing is crazy good as you you know i pulled off and it was just wheel spinning all over the place so it's going to be very powerful um maybe acceleration is going to be right up there as you can see, it's quite quick in a straight line, maybe. Uh, yeah, it's picking up speed pretty nicely. So it is quite fast. Handling is atrocious. As you can see, I tried turn and then wanted to spin out straight away. So I had to apply brakes and let go of the accelerator. So um, in races, it is going to be no good. So um, like I said, the only sort of like use for this vehicle is if, you, you know, if you're a collector of GTA cars special vehicles unique vehicles this is definitely one to have because um, it is relatively cheap i suppose at half a million it's not too bad it actually does look quite cool um but if you're buying it for a race don't you know it's not worth buying it for a race uh but just for a pretty vehicle you know unique vehicle go ahead and buy it five hundred and fifty thousand dollars you know i don't think that's going to break the bank uh with customization little over 400,000 maybe so it's going to cost you near a mil to fully customize this bad boy um, with the price of obviously purchasing it um, but I think it's pretty good you know it is quick 
It's got a um, hell of a lot of torque, so it's got good acceleration. In a straight line, it picks up top speed quite nicely, so it's not uh, it's not a slouch. But going around them corners is uh, it's going to be challenging. So you have to slow right down for them corners, otherwise you're going to be spinning. There's not many vehicles that look like this in the game, except for a couple. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please smash the motherfucking like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.